Yeah, with me most likely going back to work. Um, things are gonna change for streaming. They're gonna have to, because I won't be able to stream much, depending. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Because it's hard for me, both mentally and physically, to stream on the same days that I work in my day job, because my day job is extremely draining. But we shall see. Thank you, Duke. I wasn't gonna engage with it. <laughs> yes, you were You were outed by the blanket for it, Sen. We know you're here now. I figure I'll play a few games of Overwatch in order to at least pass um, two hours. Yeah. I'll be watching over you. I'll be watching over you. Ah, Anson gets a cookie. I like cookies. Sin cannot hide from their sins. I dance. <laughs> oh, I was dancing. It was fun. I like dancing. To Do Prepare to attack. Select your hero. 2019 Mercy All Star skin is best skin. <laughs> Confirmed. At least it doesn't seem to be lagging on the freaking menu anymore. I remember dealing with that last time I was streaming this game. I'd be, be like, frames? What frames? But only on the character select menu. <laughs> Dr. Ziegler. Yee, I fly. Board of scammers. Ah, oh, I get so many scam calls and scam texts now. I literally will not pick up the. F if I get a call, I will not pick up the phone if I don't recognize the number. And it has actually gotten me into trouble at work before <laughs> um, when I didn't have one of my boss's um, phone numbers programmed into my phone and I just was ignoring their calls. They're like, hey, Scarlet, you didn't pick up your phone. I'm like, uh, you didn't call me? <laughs> He's like, yes, I did. Uh oh. I'm just gonna hide behind this pillar. Uh, if a voice milk would support another, I said fuck up. Exactly. And they do! Like, and I don't pick up, and if they leave a voicemail, then I know that I need to call them back. You know, I mean, if it's a voicemail that's important for something. And you know what's even funnier? when they don't do their fucking research. <laughs> sort of like those stupid YouTube ads that are talking about like how to grow bigger balls. I'm like, I, I, I lack those appendages. <laughs> but with calls, it's like leaving a voicemail. It's like, we've we need to talk to you about your vehicle's extended warrant. I don't have the car. 
I can't drive! <laughs> like, it's so often stuff about, you know, we need to talk to you about your car. I'm like, I don't fucking have one. <laughs> Nah, I just find it funny. You're better off without them. on the payload. <laughs> I had the car one twice today? Exactly. Ah, oh, the Ryan not noticing the enemy Mercy sitting on their head. Stuff is even worse course of the day, drunk man when I'm getting killed summer days. Yeah. Like. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, they wouldn't do it if it never worked, which is the sad thing. Thanks, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Now this is gonna end well. We only have one tank. This is not great. <laughs> Hair supplement businesses. Also, supplements are like 95% bullshit anyway, so. I'm dead. Supplements in general are mostly, not entirely, but mostly scams. Yeah, two two things that, uh, as somebody with a degree in biology, always make me just rage. The word detox, in terms of like health food stuff, and the term cleanse. <laughs> it's same context. Like, if anything's if anything's like, it'll this product will help you detox your liver. No, no, it's bullshit. That's not how the liver- that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how science works. It's not how biology works. On Twitch with a gaming supplement- GAMING SUPPLEMENT? GAMING su What the fuck is a GAMING SUPPLEMENT? I'm gonna keep the pressure washer. Yeah. Like, colon cleanse. Like, this'll cleanse your blood. This'll cleanse your liver. You're losing me fucking cleansing, okay? <laughs> That's not how biology works. You're just sh paying out the ass for a freaking placebo. A and freaking placebo at best. And snake oil at worst. The exactly! Like... The liver does the fucking cleansing. That's its job. They're supposed to help you focus on trying Jesus fucking Christ. A clean bill of health. Try some for work if they were No, that's not. Again. If there is any quote unquote benefit to supplements. It's, and I say that, and I say this as somebody who takes a vegan multivitamin. 
most, not all, most, and especially any that are like, this supplement will cr increase energy. This supplement will do that. No, they're bullshit. They're bullshit. The only reason I have a multivitamin is because I'm not taking it to improve, um, whatever, focus, as nebulous as that is. As nebulous as a, this, take this to improve focus is. Um, the only reason I have a multivitamin is because I'm vegan. And because my diet generally, not all the time, but generally lacks um, some vitamins that I need to function. And I don't feel like micromanaging my diet to get those. But even with a just regular vitamin, um, even just with a regular, like, multivitamin that you take, right? Um, your body cannot absorb it. That's why if you look at the back of... See, do an experiment where you go to the store next time, okay? Look at the back of, of a supplement, okay? Look at the back of a supplement. Or not a supplement specifically, but like a multivitamin. It'll say 500 percent daily dose of vitamin C or 300 percent dose of iron or something like that. It's because most of that um, vitamin that you're eating, of that supplement that you're eating, you're peeing out because your body cannot absorb the vitamins or the minerals in the form of a supplement. They can absorb them just fine when they're in the form of a whole food or a cooked food. Your body cannot absorb them when they're in the form of a supplement. That's why those say like, you know, 500% vitamin C or 300% vitamin A or etc. Because they need to overpack them in order to in order to have enough, in order to have uh, enough that your body could maybe absorb it. Just filling up a bucket, their titties leak like soup. Exactly. But add on the fact that that bucket would not be leaking if you were eating, if you were filling it with things that didn't cause holes. <laughs> because again, if you eat, I might die. Oh, I didn't die. I thought I, was, I thought that was gonna kill me. Because we're vital funds to your, out of your account, exactly. And they're so fucking overpriced. Like, go eat some fucking vegetables, you guys. Um, but yeah, the only reason I take a vegan multivitamin and the only reason I take an iron supplement is because I'm vegan. I don't take it for health reasons. I just take it because it's easier. Well, I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah, like these are the tins that that mine come in. I have one for vitamin, or one for the vitamin, and one for my iron supplement. Yeah. But don't take them for the nebulous claims like weight loss or improves focus, like. Some that's some MLM snake oil salesman bullshit. It just tastes good than has caffeine. Yes, but the help the help that it would um, give you would be mostly placebo. Even caffeine. You know what? One of the best ways for caffeine to work. Have you guys ever had um, that feeling when you have a cup of black tea or a cup of coffee, but you're still tired afterwards? You know why that is? One, it could just be because your body is that exhausted, in which case, go get some fucking sleep. Um, but a lot of that is because the caffeine is not binding to the receptors in your brain that it needs to to keep you awake. And the reason that's not doing that is because you're not being active. One of the best ways to get a cup of coffee to really work is, uh, I can't remember if it's drink a cup of coffee, then exercise for like, like do some jumping jacks for five, 10 minutes, or is do jumping jacks for five, 10 minutes and then drink the cup of coffee. I think it's drink the cup of coffee first. But 
Either way, your body needs to be moving at least for a little bit in order for that caffeine to bind in your brain. In addition to things like tolerance. Trust me, I have a shiny piece of paper that says I'm smart. <laughs> If you need fucking healing, stay near me, Widow. And also, they can be bad for you. Like, I was just watching a video essay yesterday about... About people who are feeding their children capsulefuls of bleach because it's being sold as a supplement. Like, not kidding, straight up industrial bleach because it's supposed to be a health supplement in the way that it's being packaged and sold to them yeah the mms cult yeah i was watching a video i was watching um illuminati's video essay yesterday on mms the fucking mms people yeah like uh, but yeah one one thing that my anatomy professor made sure to drill fucking home in us is that supplements are fucking useless in most situations and are just being used as an excuse not to eat properly like you're literally paying money for expensive urine <laughs> like that's it Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. But, yep. Use a health supplement. It can be treated as a murder attempt. Yeah, it has killed people. It has killed people. Yeah, not a, I, I suggest looking up um, Illuminati's um, video essay on MMS. It's 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 gross. But did it get rid of COVID? Yeah, it also killed the person with COVID. <laughs> I mean, it's technically getting rid of COVID if you kill the person. Whoops, this is bad. <laughs> I like holistic health approach. Yeah, it's like you can't have COVID if you're dead, so technically it cured the COVID. It also cured life. It's a cure for both COVID and living. This is pretty in the world that's stunning, yes. But like, it's also really sad because you'll have parents who are feeding bleach to their children. It's like, oh, this this claim is that it's a cure for autism. My kid has autism. I must cure the autism. You don't need to fucking cure autism, uh, for one. And they'll feed bleach to their kid. Like, it's fucking sad. Sign me the hell up, yeah. Dr. Seymour Guado approves. <laughs> I'm proud of that reference, Duke. Um, but yeah, supplements are, m for the most part, again, for the most part, and I also, again, say this as somebody who takes a supplement, mostly, and for most things, in most cases, are snake oil. They just are. And... Even, um, like, did you know that if you take an iron supplement, you need to have an acid with it? Um, like, a cup of orange juice, or an orange, or some lemonade. You need to have a citrus with it. Because you need the vitamin C in the citrus. I completely missed whatever that message was. Um, you need the citrus in the in the acid in order to absorb the iron because the type of iron that is in an iron supplement using this again as an example is not a kind of iron that you would get from just eating some broccoli it's not the same form of iron so your body does not absorb it properly the vitamin c and um, citrus drinks converts it to the right type of iron so your body can actually absorb the fucking thing so most people who take supplements don't even fucking take them properly. Like, 
and you expect to get everything you need on your regular diet. Exactly, Crow. And most people are deficient in things that they don't even realize because most people don't go to a nutrition nutritionist ever in order to get like blood work done. Because um, one common gotcha that I get as a vegan, and even when I was vegetarian, is, oh, well, you can't get B12. Um, for one, you can get B12. And for two, meat eaters are commonly deficient in B12 themselves because our food is so sanitized um, in the way that it's mostly farmed and like factory farming and stuff that there's no B12 in it when there should be. Because a lot of B12 comes from, um, like, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of B12 comes from the soil that gets taken up into plants that the animals graze on. And then when you eat the animals, you get the B12 that they got from the stuff that they grazed on. But if the feed is sterile, it's not gonna have B12 in it. Or at least not as much as it would normally. So even if you eat meat, you're still probably deficient in B12. I probably have more B12 in my system than you do. I take the iron right didn't know until me about the acid in the bottle. Didn't say exactly. That's what I mean, Keeksy. Um, that was something specific to iron supplements that I learned in my anatomy class. Um, that. It's not this, and you have to like lag time it. You, cause you need to build up your vitamin C in the body. If you're deficient in vitamin C, you're not gonna be able to absorb the iron in an iron supplement because it's not the correct form of iron that you would find in say broccoli. Um, you need to start drinking, a uh, not all the time. You don't have to have a cup of orange juice with each iron supplement. That's not what I'm meaning. You just need to have the occasional like citrus. Um, so start like a week before you start taking an iron supplement, start eating citrus more because you have to build up the vitamin C in your body. So when you start taking the iron supplement, it'll be able to process. And even then your body can take all of it and you're gonna be pissing out a lot of it. So yeah, supplements and um, vitamins are quite a bit just expensive urine makers. <laughs> also, you guys are gonna see more of it, um, more of my biology railing. Um, <laughs> I think it's to, Days, like later today's um, Metal Gear Solid video, I, I still need to upload it. It just, it finished exporting while I was streaming, so I still need to upload it, as with Silent Hill 4's um, video. But I rail against some of the biology stuff in that in that game that I never really, it never really clicked in my brain when I was younger playing it, because I didn't have a degree back then. Like Eric doesn't include a funny glitch. It's, a, it's through an emulator. They're all funny glitches. <laughs> Nothing like the Ocelot cloak, though. It does, but there's one claim that, um, that I bet you, I bet you, there's gonna be all kinds of gamer bros who to this day believe this, but Emma Emmerich? Um, in one of the early cutscenes, after you rescue her, says, um, it, like, asks Ryan, it's like, do you know how many genes there are on the body? Ryan says, um, 40 to 60 uh, million or something, which I can't remember the exact number. That range is correct, though. And then she's like, but they, but when they did the initial research, they thought it was going to be 100 million. Turns out. It is a hundred million and the Patriots are just hiding the other, like, hiding the facts of how many genes there actually are. I'm like, no, that's not fucking how that works. <laughs> the reason why the initial research into genetics said that there would be a hundred million genes in the human body is, um, not at all because of that. Like, it's a, it, it broke my- I, I rant about it much better in the actual video, which you guys will see later, but just because the logic would dictate there is one gene for one protein, initially, and then we found out that's not how it works, there's roughly half what the proteins and chemicals in our cells say there should be. Like, there's a fucking reason for that. 
And it's not like there's a shadowy cabal hiding the truth and we actually have 100, 100 million genes or there's some untapped potential in the human body. No. The reason is because a gene can code for more than one thing. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like Occam's razor, easiest solution, that's it. <laughs> What would that even accomplish? Exactly! <laughs> like, I wonder how many gamer bros who are fans of Metal Gear Solid 2, if you ask them how many genes are in the human body, they would say 100 million. <laughs> as, as I just cry on the inside and the outside as a biology person. <laughs> Conspiracy theories, yes. Uh, just, I don't get it. Just, just trust science, you guys. Just fucking trust science, please. <laughs> like, we're not out here to. To, to screw with you guys. I mean, sometimes we are, <laughs> but not like that. <laughs> like there's a lot of bad shit in science, but it's not the science that's the bad shit. It's the scientists that do the bad shit. <sighs> science isn't the problem. It's the people that do the science that can be the problem. <laughs> or, oh my God, don't even get me started on flat earth. Do not even get me started on flat earth. I'll be watching over you. So science is just hiding millions of genomes. Yeah. According to Mel, you're solid too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Metal Gear Solid is also the franchise that is, tries to have its cake and eat it too by saying that Snake and Liquid are identical twins, but that somehow Snake has the inferior genes to Liquid. Like, <laughs> you can't have it both ways! <laughs> either they're identical twins, or one of them is um, has all the recessive genes and the other one has all the domino genes. Like, <laughs> you can't have it both ways. <laughs> unless, you're, unless you did some weird epigenetic bullshit. And even then, like, that's not how science works. <laughs> I'm the same, then they aren't identical. Exactly. Like, it's a plot point in Metal Gear Solid 2 that the reason why Snake was able to get away with faking his death is because they took Liquid's body and used that in place of his. And when it got tested, it came up as Solid Snake because they're supposed to be genetically identical. But it's also a plot point that Snake has all of the recessive genes of Big Boss, and Liquid has all the dominant genes of Big Boss. Like, <laughs> and yes, I know Liquid says that he has all the recessive genes in the original, but it's also revealed in the original that it's actually Liquid who has the dominant genes and Solid, Solid Snake who has the uh, recessive ones. The only flat earth I will ever acknowledge is Discworld, and that is the only one you should acknowledge, because Discworld is amazing. Need to get myself a donkey cart. Everyone get the number on that donkey cart. It's old, old port and click adventure joke. Yeah, you guys enjoy my uh, science ranting. Bats only have genes that clear dominant recessive, nothing was homogenous, and they're completely dominant. Exactly! Like, how did they decide what was the dominant and what was the recessive gene for something like fucking hair color? <laughs> or something that's controlled by multiple genes, like eye color? Or skin color! Like. <laughs> I 
I get that it's just a game. Which is why I love it and I forgive it. But at the same time, it's, it's fucking dumb. <laughs> Nope. Oh, I barely slipped out of there. <laughs> ah, tits, I'm dead. <laughs> and so does Vorl open that back, killing the world on it. Exactly. It makes more sense than fucking Flat Earth does. No, why would you use your ult there, Junkrat, you fucking idiot? Doesn't work in the 21st century because most of get, um, dropped by her health and she's riding with all the medication she took. Yeah. Well, actually, Duke, I'm a, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to just prove that right there because um, Melissa got her medication from uh, from Clamp. So, I mean, not she didn't get all her medication from Clamp, but she did get quite a bit of her immunosuppressants from Clamp. Because she would not have had that many immunosuppressants on her just with the regular immunosuppressants. Um, uh, you know, thing. Because Clamp, Clamp was feeding her immunosuppressants with the goal of collapsing her immune system so Eve could take over. So. And that's one of the reasons why I love Parasite Eve so much, especially the original game. And the second game, but mostly the original game, because they're so good with the science, you guys. <laughs> it's so rare that a game is that good with the science, and it gives me a happy. It's probably developed by Umbrella, yes. Like, Resident Evil and Parasite Eve. With Resident Evil, mostly the earlier ones. They're so good with the science sometimes, and it just gives me such a happy. Or they don't try to over-explain their science, which always ends in them fucking up their science. Concept of conservation of mass, yes. <laughs> Like, at least, like, Resident Evil 1 gets around the problem of conservation mass with the fact that all of the enemies are already there. Like, they could have mutated over time, and in fact it is implied that they mutated slowly because of things like Keeper's Diary. Um. Uh-oh. Yeah. Um. World Inco Battle Rehearsal couldn't find split side tick medication. Yep. <laughs> I'm only wide for positive tick medication. Yeah, that's not how meds work, bro. <laughs> also, like, her medication was immunosuppressants. If you injure yourself, taking more immunosuppressants is gonna do the opposite of heal you. Because <laughs> you need your immune system to heal yourself. <laughs> like, that's how it works. I mean, I know. I know Clamp and Eve were fucking lying to her and manipulating her, but at the same time, like, why the fuck did she think that was gonna work? Oh, I'm out! Fuck. <laughs> How am I alive? I should have died three times there. Bare minimum, I should have died three times there. <laughs> we just have to get it into overtime. We just have to get it into overtime. And then we're Gucci. Nothing else matters than getting it into overtime. Yeah, we're in overtime, this is fine. So they're talking about she would sneeze and take more fare. Uh, 
Let them take it. I mean, they're not going to be able to, like, take the point. All we have to do is get one tick and we have four and a half minutes. <laughs> Oh, look at that little loaf bun. Look at that little loaf tally. Or Chris punching a massive boulder that probably weighs, oh my god, boulder punching Chris is the best. <laughs> but yeah, reason con conservation of mass isn't a problem in Resident Evil 1 at all, because you actually don't see an on-screen mutation. You don't see an on-screen mutation, so it's pretty easy to just say that all of the mutations happened over a period of time. Resident Evil 2 bends this a bit because you do see Martin, depending on if you're talking about the original or remake, because you see it in the original, you don't see it in the remake, um, Marvin turning into a zombie. Technically, he turns into a zombie off screen in the remake, but you see it in the remake. But I would say that's not even an instantaneous transformation because he was turning over time. Um, then you have the one that's a little bit eh, starts to get a little conservation of mass fuckery, is Birkin. <laughs> Not even Mr. X. Like, Mr. X's is fine. His isn't conservation of mass breaking. Birkin, though? <laughs> Birkin's when you start to get squirrely. <laughs> Um, and in Resident Evil 3 is actually pretty good with conservation of mass. Because... Even Nemesis, the final form of Nemesis, where he gets super squirrely with mutations. Conservation of mass can be explained by the fact that in both the remake and the original, he gets all melty in an area covered with dead bodies, so easily could have gotten mass from those bodies. It still happens a little bit quick, though. Mr. X has some, Mr. X has some glorious mods. <laughs> My favorite is the Thomas the Tank Engine one. Where are you going, Ryan? Ryan, where the fuck are you going? This Mercy's mine. No, damn it! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill Mercy. Thomas the Tank Engine, I laugh so hard. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> the Thomas the Tank Engine mod is... It's its the best, you guys. It's the fucking best. Okay. Just to show you guys what we're talking about. For those who haven't seen it. Let's see which... I think it was this one. No, it's this one. Okay. Get ready to laugh your ass off if you guys haven't seen this. Wait, is there a Xenomorph mod for Mr. Or for Mr. X? I fucking need it. Oh wait, no, you guys can't see it. <laughs> I forgot that I have, um, didn't have display on. Go, go, go! <laughs> this one gives him squeaky shoes. <laughs> Squeaky shoe footsteps. Uh, give me a break. <laughs> Eight minutes until there it is, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shit. Thomas the Tank Engine, Mr. X. <laughs> I've been here traumatized for having Thomas chase me. 
Choo choo, motherfucker. Yep. And then somebody made a theme song for him. I'm just like, but fucking why? Okay, what's the next one? This one or just replaces him with Mr. Birkin or with William Birkin? This one turns him into a beach boy. Like, it puts him in a speedo. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> really, that's the correct response. Yep. Mr. X no more, just to mod that removes Mr. X from the game. So you can just Jesus Christ. <laughs> slowly, peacefully walk around because he's not there anymore. Go, go, go! And then the classic that's all the memes everywhere. <laughs> go, go, go. Because of course, somebody took the meme and ran with it. Here's one where somebody replaced him with Nemesis, which is terrifying. Like, nope. <laughs> That's a lot of no. It's much better than Resident Evil 3 did to him. I mean, what? Like, why couldn't we have this for Resident Evil 3 remake? Bruh. Oh, and then there's one where every enemy is Mr. X. This one replaces every enemy in the game with Mr. X. Another one. <laughs> you don't get to go through that door, Leon. That is. Oh, and then there's the one that replaces Leon with a zombie, which is hilarious. Every villain is every villain is X. Yes, that's a nope for me. Yep. Okay, I'll do one more round of Overwatch and then I'll end it. Still says the season's ending in less than a minute. <laughs> I hope you guys like that. I think we might have watched that video before on stream. I vaguely remember it. Come on, mouse. Behave. Aw, oh, hi, Tally. You can see one paw. Tally only has one paw out. Awesome mods for games out there. I mean, yes. I only have, you know, 360 mods on my Skyrim. <laughs> so... Welcome to Rialto. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. Hi, Tally Bun. I also got some sleeping chinchillas up here. They're right there. Sleepy I'll chinchillas. For Skyrim, I remember you spawning hundreds of jars and using... No, I didn't spawn hundreds of jars, not all. I just took hundreds of jars out of a chest because I stole everything in Skyrim. <laughs> So I had everything in a chest. I did not spawn those jars. 
I just had them. <laughs> Organically. Because it used to be a thing on stream where I would sh um, play Skyrim, chat would pick a city, and I would have to steal every single thing in the city, including the clothes off of people's backs. <laughs> Heard the steak knife trying to remove the labels from what? The fuck you talk? What are you talking about, Dresden? Who sliced their finger open? Are they okay? Are you still here? Keeksy, are you still here? I need you to put Dresden in a corner. For a second I was gonna- I thought I was gonna have to kill myself, but nope! People showed up. He's going to get her back crack. Oh, okay. Uh, Duke, put Dress in the corner. <laughs> Healing stream engaged. Damage amplified. The battle continues. Activating Which means unlimited power. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Duke's here. If Duke's not here, Dresden, put yourself in the corner. <laughs> I just need somebody to put Dresden in the corner, and I don't want to have to all tap out to do it myself. No? Are you telling me no, Dresden? <laughs> I made you, I can unmake you. <laughs> in terms of I can take the mod sword away. I'm joking, by the way, I wouldn't actually. But if I have to all tab out to put you in the corner, then I will be very cross. My mom threatened that for 18 years. Yes, but I can actually take the sword away. Like, takes about four characters to do that. Not including these RAM. Five characters. No. Six characters to do that. <gasps> Stretchy bunny! Damage increase. Don't make me all tab out to do it. You know what I should do? I should do what Molly does. And add a channel point command to temporarily time out mods. Because you know she does that. She has a um, channel point um, thing for you can spend 10,000 channel points with a max of three times per stream. And she will time out a mod for 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought about doing that, I just don't have enough mods. <laughs> if I had more mods, then I'd do that. But it's an idea for the future to keep in mind. I'm waiting, Dresden. It's your decision.
I'm look when I look down like this, I'm looking at the chat because it's over here. I should have saved that. Oh well. Shouldn't have used that. have water anymore. No Mr. Fasting. Where were you, Duke? I needed you to put Dresden in the corner. I had to do it myself. Where were you, Duke? Like my dog, Eddie takes forever. Okay, fair. <laughs> That's fair. Oh shit, I didn't realize they were up there. Our time is running out. Everyone get on defense. On defense. 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 Little dude scratch through the door and then run away again. Oh no! No. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> wow. Rude. Best offense is a defense! <laughs> is that how that works? Yes, now you have a cookie, Drez. <laughs> you can munch a cookie. I need to steal Molly's uh, menu command as well. I just have a bunch of Nightbot commands I need to steal from Molly. I really like her menu command, though, and her 8-ball command. I just need to do something like that for mine. Is that, like, aggressive negotiations, Nuttle? Just steal Molly? I mean, I could. Wade might get mad at me, though, so we won't do that. I'd probably piss off Wade. And he's a he's a big time famous YouTuber and Twitch stream. I don't wanna piss him off. Eventually I will steal Molly though. I need to properly show her around Portland. I didn't get a chance to when she was here last. Like the only time she's been here actually. Cause when Molly or when Wade, um, Mark Bob and all of them did their one of their tours um, around the US. They stopped in Portland. They were at the Keller, I believe. And I got to go see them. We had many noms. Dun da dun da. I remember this. Ganji is fucking terrible. I'm dead. How did I live? How did that widow not kill me? That widow had me dead to rights. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone after him. That was my bad. I deserve that death. Oh dear. Group up here. Group up with me. Group up. Group up here. Nope. That's 
stay in this hole. <laughs> I'm safe here. Wait a minute, we have three tanks right now? What the fuck? But why, though? Where's the fucking Widowmaker, Dad? You just wasted your fucking old Genji. <laughs> You doing, big boy? Take nothing, mom. I'm cleaning my feetsies. Cause I'm a bunny. Well, this is going well. <laughs> You're damn right I have gold healing. I'm not gonna loot gold healing to a fucking Anna. Oh, they have a lever. Okay. That's rude. Do not leave mid-match. It is a very good thing to do. Joining the navy, navy to prove the Earth was flat. I can't imagine watching. What? <laughs> you joined the Navy. To, that's almost like the um, cruise ship expedition. A bunch of flat earthers are planning to take to the um, to Antarctica to prove that there's an ice shelf and that the plant that um, the world is flat. Yeah, um, cruise ships, um, rely on calculations involving the curvature of the Earth in order to navigate. Did sign on for a four-year tour? Oh, he fucked up. <laughs> yeah, literally ships rely on navigation, navigation equipment that require calculations based off of the curvature of the Earth in order to navigate from point A to point B. You have to compensate for the curvature of the Earth to navigate the ocean. That's how that works. Okay. Let's see if there's anybody streaming that I can raid. Nonsense, I go straight line. Jesus Christ. That's a gigantic waste almost every way. Also that! Also that. Not really anybody to raid right now, so I think we'll just end it. Okay, I will see you guys on Monday for our first Ori and the Will of the Wisps stream. So, new game on Monday. Children's are actually staring at I believe the Earth is a planet. That's all I need to know. There you go. Nice and simple. I like it. Okay, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a nice day. And go drink some tea.